What's up everybody? Welcome back to Iron Pen and Bear with another mystery box video. And today's video is gonna be a mystery box from Toy Temple. Alright, and this will be my first time ordering from them. Uh, and I would say the I don't know if I got the I would say leftovers or if this is what they do. But it, they ship them in shorters but in bags. Don't know if this is how they do it. Like I said, it's my first time ordering from them. So I'm a little worried just because that that there was a good chance they could have got damaged or, or something during the mail service delivery. <clears throat> and of course, like I said, they're bags. They're in sorters. They're in sorters, but it's in a bag, it's not in a box for that extra protection. So First impression right now from Toy Temple, uh, kind of shaky, but let's see if their mystery box, well, mystery bag, mystery bag, would change my mind and see if I'd be able to order from them again. All right, let's cut this bag. Let's see if we're able to pull anything good. All right. Okay, box. <clears throat> so, of course they're in boxes, but no. Uh-uh. They, anything, because I don't want them to be in bags. I think it's, they should be double boxed because it's for the extra protection. And if they would have got damage, like right here, look. This one's already getting a little damage right there. Someone would have stepped on them. That was it. Bye bye, pops. <laughs> but, all right, let's see if we could pull anything. Uh, to let you know, these were like, I think it was 20 bucks for each one. Plus shipping, it should have been around 70 something. I will have to double check. And yes, I do add the shipping and all that because. You're paying for it, so no. Nope. Right, let's see. We're able to pull anything upside down. All right, this should be the front. One, two, and three. All right, Naruto, Naruto. Oh, pain. Okay, the glow in the dark. Okay, Chalice exclusive. Chalice collectibles exclusive. Mm hmm. Huh. Let me take them out. Okay. <clears throat> uh, okay. Let me take him out real quick. Right. See Naruto, but I never watched it from beginning to end, so don't know too much about pain. That's pretty cool. I like the way it looks. I like the mold, the design mold, and all that. I like it. Huh? Not a huge fan of Naruto, but I like it. A bit different. <clears throat> All right. Let's check out another one. All right. I have not seen in Chalice. Is it bolted though? This pain from Chalice Collectibles? I mean, I've seen plenty of Dragon Ball Z with the. Uh, what was it? Kale. I've seen plenty of Kale. Let's see. Vegeta, Glow in the Dark. And I think it was My Hero Academia also. Like I've seen playing those, but I've never seen Pain no more. I think it's bolted. Not too sure. Alright, let's see. Alright, one, two, and three. Oh, the Warrior. Baseball Fury. Okay, limited edition. Funko Shop. Hmm. I remember the Warrior. The Warrior is good, you know? But I also remember they did the Beetle game. Of the Warriors back in 2005 2006 ish hmm I forget. either way the game was good and because it told more story into each of the certain characters and what they did before the whole meeting if y'all see the movie they had a big meeting for all the gangs in New York <clears throat> And one of the characters who was like a big time 
gang member, the probably like a head honcho, got shot. And basically they're all blamed, the warriors were blamed by a rival gang. And they all try to kill the warriors. But this is from the Baseball Fury, one of the gangs that tried to attack and pretty much almost probably kill the warriors. It's a good movie, I like it. The video game, like I said, is just as good, if not better, because they explain more of the story, give characters a bit, bit more background, you know, so you can relate with them. Uh, the, game sh the game should have been the movie, pretty much. All right, last one. All right. Hopefully it'll be something good. Another baseball fury? <laughs> Holy crap. Another baseball fury. Okay. Except he's green. Green baseball fury. How many were there? I think three? Four? Hmm. That's kind of a cheap way, though, too. Because he's green, so they just changed the paint, the face paint. Could at least put him in a different pose or something. Swing a bat. Swing a bat or something. <laughs> oh, Lord. That's pretty cool. Two of them I really enjoy because there's from a movie that I watched and I liked as a kid and still now. All right, but let's see what the value of all three of them and hopefully we got our money back. All right, be back in a sec. All right, was a little win. I did get my money back. All right. Uh, first of all, both of the the red baseball fury and the green, both were twenty two bucks, and I check out whatnot for the prices on these. <clears throat> both are worth twenty two bucks a piece, so pretty good. And I'm surprised. So I would need still need to double check. I didn't really check. I just went on PPG since I couldn't get the for sure uh, price on this one. I had to check on PPG.com, PropPriceGuy.com. And he is worth 40 bucks. Wow. So pretty much I have made back up to $84. I spent 72 bucks, $60 for each of them, plus tax and then shipping. I do include the shipping because you're paying for shipping. <coughs> it was a total of $72 and I got back 84. So I would say it was, it was very successful. But I do still hate the fact that they put it in a bag. Don't know if that's how they do it. If you guys order from them, let me know. Uh, if I do order from them, then I would know in advance that, okay, they always put in the bags. But still, like I showed y'all earlier, one of the boxes was just a little bit of a dinged. So <clears throat> even though they're in pop protectors, they could still have been punctured and then damaged the pop the value and let's say i got one of the big hits and it's worth like what let's say 200 dollars. if that got if that would have got punctured you know i would have been i would have been furious about that because it was in a bag but <clears throat> maybe i just got the the bad end of the steak and i was the only one with shipping the bag you know if that's how to do it then ugh but I probably will order from them and again in the future. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please like it, subscribe to my channel, hit the notification so you guys be informed on my next video will be coming in. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. <laughs> Bye guys.